Friday, ladies. Can y'all hear me? Press one. I see y'all up in the building. That's what's up. Hit that one for me. Just waiting on it. <laughs> Boom. There it is. Thank you, Lighthouse. Religion free. Thank you for the super chat. And she's the first in the building. We have Colette Jor is here. We got Chocolate Goddess up in this piece. Hey, Coffee. Ariana's here. Lola's here. Bella Golf is here. All y'all cute asses in this bit building tonight. Who else we got? Aisha B is here. Okay. American Ebenezer is here. That's a cute name. American Ebenezer. The truth is the truth is here. Chisol. XX is here. XXSS, honestly. She's here. Yes. And happy Friday. I am loving it, y'all. I absolutely hate Mondays, but I love Fridays. Friday is the end of the week. More people are able to sit back and chill and that type of shit. Let me ask y'all something on this panel real quick. Have y'all ever heard people in Blackistan say, oh, everybody's copying us. We're trendsetters. We're the trendsetters in the community. We just, we just, we, we just make everything good. Everybody want to copy us. Have y'all heard that shit before? Aaliyah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I have. I've, I've heard, heard that. that. I've heard that. I, I've heard that before. Yeah, I've heard that several times. Okay, so it's really, whenever they're talking about that type of shit, it's always something that don't mean a motherfucking thing, like a hairstyle, a way of wearing your clothes, you know, the way you say things and that type of shit. 
But it seems to me that black men have started another trend. The Kings have started another trend just recently, and I feel like it should be covered. Ladies, before I even show you, I'm going to tell you, get your ass away from these people. Do not have their children. Do not interact with them if you don't have to. Stay as far away from their pick as possible. Divest. Let's share my screen. I want y'all to tell me if y'all remember this shit from last month, and then we'll carry on. Hold up. Hmm. Do you guys remember this son of a fucking bitch from last month that tossed that baby over the bridge? Yeah, I remember yeah. him. Mm -hmm. I remember him. Okay. Yep. Well, apparently he's a trendsetter. Because more of y'all babies are going over bridges. It seems like that's the trend now. How that much more do you have to see? How much more do you have to see? That baby was two days old. Two days. Two days. Not and two months. Two damn days. Still alive and everything. This is why I say it's a trend. Because this next guy... He did the same thing, but he did it even better. Okay. That 20 year old you see on the right. His girlfriend is the first person that you see and her two year old child. He's not the father of that child. But she is or was indeed pregnant by him two months. And he wasn't liking that shit. I mean, he's a king. Of course, he's not going to like that shit. What do you mean you're pregnant? It ain't mine. You a hold. That ain't my baby. But whatever. For whatever reason, they don't feel any attachment to the children. Well, this king said, fuck it. I'm going to put several holes in her with my gun. And then I'm going to take her two year old little boy and fling his alive ass over the bridge. He stated that he heard the child crying after he threw him and left him for dead ladies I hate this shit I hate this shit let me tell you this because if you're thinking that you're better than the next woman you're not if you're thinking your pussy is a little bit wetter than his ex it's not if you think you cook better if you think you fuck better if you think you're more submissive you're not all of you are the same bitch to him. The only difference is what they can receive from that person. That is it. He doesn't view you. His ex wasn't crazy. On your first date, if he wants to just talk about how crazy his ex was, nine times out of ten, it was his crazy ass and you need to get the fuck away. This is absolutely insane. This is the second time a child was thrown over a bridge alive in a month. What are we doing here? What, what, what are folks not getting? Also, this story is not getting a lot of play. What so damn ever? I looked on YouTube, tried to find news coverage of it, and I found 32 fucking seconds of them talking about this. That's it. There was a missing report. Then it was a found report. That is it. It seems like the media is also getting tired of covering this shit because guess what? You only get in a couple of seconds. Why are we covering this shit? It's going to be another one next week. It's going to be another one in April. Oh, the summer is going to be lit. The summer is going to be all the way lit. Aaliyah. Oh, so you mean to tell me that one of the most involved fathers strikes again and threw his own son off a bridge after taking out his mother? I mean, say it ain't so. But let me guess. Let me guess. Um, she she chose wrong. She should have she should have chose better. This is all on her that he did that. I mean, I, I don't know how many times we have to say it. Get you and your children the fuck away from them. Don't tell them that you're leaving. Just plan your escape carefully. And when you leave, do not go back for any reason. These men cannot be saved. They cannot be rehabilitated. Stop trying. Oh, well, can I answer that? Of course. I've heard because 
not to go off into too much detail, but this girl, you know, this kind of does hit home. I guess I, I guess I could say that, but there are already some people saying she knew, or you know, she knew he didn't have. She knew that he, uh, he was, you know, a certain way, or you know, you should never had no child by him. Why was you with him anyway? Where well, is okay, that? I'm done with that shit. They always I'm, say I'm, that. I'm, I'm sorry. I am done. Okay, this is Ebony. Um, I'm right. sorry, my my voice is kind of bad tonight, but I'm done with that shit. And the thing is, it is so easy for Blackistan. It, it's funny. They always point to Black women, even when they're victims, it's your fucking fault. Yeah. No, no, not dysfunction. Okay. Not the not the fucked up shit that's going on and not the, the coddling of these deranged, psychotic, sociopathic pieces of you know what, but it's always your fault, black woman, black girl. It's your fault. You get raped, that's your fault too. These girls on Facebook talking about they knew him and talked about how fine he was. No, okay, see, I'm done. I'm done here. with this shit. I'm done with that. See that see that that's the, it's a sickness. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this, but the black collective, black stand, the black community is fucked. And they have gone so far over the bend. All these girls, you guys better better get yourselves together. Walk the hell away because you will have a chance at living. Okay? And it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Uh -huh. You will be barred. You are will be so socioeconomically barred from even elevating yourselves. You understand me. And with Sorry about my voice. I apologize. But you will be barred from getting your wealth and power that you need to control your own goddamn life. They are coming with abortion bans. And you know what's going to follow that? Contraception bans. Okay? Wake up. Wake the hell up. I don't know where or what you have to see to go ahead and get away from these folks. And let me tell you something, divested women. Honestly. It's not your job to get the people in your family away from these folks. When I come here, it's just so that maybe somebody that's the, just figuring out whether they want to leave or need to leave or is even necessary to get the fuck on will hear it and do it. It is not your job to get these stupid bitches, yes, these stupid bitches away from these niggas. It's nothing more important to them than him. They know it's a good fucking reason not to have any children by them, but they do it anyway. Anything to keep a tie, to keep them tethered together. And for some reason, this, the, the, the dusty snacks are a fucking tasty, I guess. Better than a goddamn Cheddar Bay biscuit around this bitch because kids is getting thrown across the fucking bridge. And let me tell you something. If they don't give a fuck about tossing a child that's alive, that can talk, that's two days old, that's whatever... You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. I don't care what you do for them. If there's women in your life that want to battle you over talking points, you best get away from their ass as well. I wonder what some of these women would have said if they heard, hey, you probably shouldn't do that, sis. I'm inclined to believe that maybe they would have gone ahead and cussed you the fuck out. You don't know what you're talking about, you bitter ass bitch. That's what you probably would have got. But here we are with pictures of people that I didn't even know existed. Don't know about them I'm, until they're dead and gone. I'm sorry. I mean, there's not enough fake lashes, BBLs, MAC makeup. I don't care where the hell you get makeup. They're, the goalpost is never going to settle so that you can jump over it, sis. The red lipstick never. ain't going to help y'all. The red lipstick ain't going to fucking help y'all. Nothing. Being natural. Gonna... Being natural ain't going to help. They, they, you know, that thing. They want you to be Thank natural. You, that Thank doesn't you, help Elle. neither. You being natural, not wearing makeup, uh, wearing your natural hair, uh, you know, dressing down, not cussing when you talk. Being submissive, none of that uh -huh. shit don't. Does, none of All that of shit don't. Shit. It, what do they yeah. say? What's that other dumb shit they say? Be something he's never experienced. <laughs> <laughs> none of that don't help though, because you still they still murk your ass. Yes, not only do they murk you, if they don't murk you, sometimes I think some that's merciful, because I have seen women go through worse than that, and and they can't, and there's no way out, especially men. 
I'm sorry. When a guy comes up to you in Blackistan and asks you to have his baby, that means you're try he wants you to have his anchor baby, meaning yep. anchoring your ass to him. That's an anchor baby. That's a real fucking anchor baby. Because you know what? You're going to be like, oh, I got to buy di diapers. I got to buy the formula. I got to get somebody to keep the baby so I can go to work or go to school. Da -da 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 -da. And he is not going to fucking be there. He has the privilege in Blackistan to walk the fuck away. That is a true anchor baby. He wants to anchor himself to you for free putang, some money, a place to stay, a car access. You know, he wants access to what you can give him. He don't want your ass. What you have to want your most, ass. What scares me the, the most is not the ones that don't know. The ones that know that's why they, they're there and they still volunteer to become victims. You're volunteering at this point. You're well, not. No, well, no, DZ, the thing of it is, this is the leg of some of these women think they got over the other women. They want to so... be a token black woman. They want to be the token black woman. Oh, I'm different. He ain't going to do me like that. He did you like that. I'm different. That's what they all do. Stunting on the gram, stunting on TikTok, said, I'm the better woman. He did you like that, but I'm better. No, I've heard, I, honey, he don't know what I'm working with. What the fuck are you working with? Right. <laughs> what, the, what, what are you working <laughs> with? I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to down ladies, but what are you working with that he hadn't seen? I'm sorry. You're coming up with excuses to volunteer to be victims, just like DZ said. You are volunteering. You know you've got the receipts. Don't, don't, don't come up to anybody saying you didn't know. You didn't know, because at this point, you got to know. What else well, do they say? I got his kids. I'm baby. I'm so first baby bitch, mama. Yeah. I got his kids, not you. Yeah, you got his kids. He ain't helping you get they ass no goddamn ravioli or no shit. What the fuck do they feed kids in the hood? Yeah, ravioli. A hamburger and helper. Ravioli, ravioli and hot Cheetos noodles, and ramen noodles. Forget and the Kool Aid cake. and the Sprite. No, Kool Aid, Kool Aid jammers. Kool Aid, Kool -Aid jammers. Kool -Aid, Kool Aid jammers. And the Sprite. The Sprite. Sprite is black. I don't know why, but it's... I don't know why. <laughs> but, and Takis. Don't forget Takis. They, they like the them. Uh, they like some fucking hot ass chips and shit. They like that shit. And they oh. always buy macaroni and cheese. Hell, you buy about three, four damn boxes of macaroni and cheese, you can feed about eight goddamn youngins. <laughs> eight? You can feed eight? <laughs> damn. Ow. Girl, they mix that macaroni and cheese with hot dogs and feed it to their ass. Stop. I'm about to throw <laughs> up. You I guys. do it. Guys. All the fucking chemicals. That's a bowl of chemicals, I swear. Welcome to the don't panel. The classic. Go ahead, Shane. I was going to say, don't forget the classic uh, hot dogs and beans. Chicken tenders, chicken strips, chicken motherfucking chicken, damn it. I can't. No wonder they can't fucking concentrate when they go to school. God damn it. They head is full of them fucking chemicals out there. Got their preservative bag. Y'all call the dinner. Eat, hey, DZ, when they get home, they're going to eat three chicken tenders and a bag of Frito Lays. Jesus Christ. Okay, God. that hurts me, man. Don't. <laughs> That's painful for me to hear. That's making my stomach a little cringy. <laughs> hey, Lipstick, how are you? Hey. All I'm hello, ladies. All I'm gonna say, like I say every Father's Day, these can't be the same fathers that Luther Vandross wanted to dance with. But what <laughs> I did, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious because these just throwing kids in the river Stop and it. tossing them oh, over bridges. Wow. This is the new trend. Yep. Oh wow! Oh wow! And yeah. it's funny how Blackistan always starts a a sick trend. Why don't you guys start a trend of building? Why don't you guys start a trend of, hmm, I'm going to try to keep a family together. How I mean, that's that? not, go ahead. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry, honey. I'm just fussing. You go ahead. No, I was about to say, um, and that's how you know it's done on purpose and it's so evil and mean spirited because they don't even have to do that. You can take these kids to hospitals and drop them off. No questions asked. Yeah. You don't have to yes, kill them. Yes, ma'am. And that's how you know that that's they just do that because they want to do it. If you don't want the baby, take the baby to the hospital. They won't ask any questions. That's all you have to do. 
Yep. They pick up paralegals and full time lawyers when it comes to criminality and what's right and what's wrong and this, that, and the third. But how about that termination of parental rights paperwork that you can go down and file? How about that part? Y'all, y'all are lawyers and all kind of shit when it comes down to keeping your monkey ass up out of jail. But when it's time to to not want to be involved in a child's life, you opting for the bridge. Yep. Instead of signing it, signing the paperwork. Instead of giving surrendering parental rights. Mm. God damn. I'm don't sorry, but this is why I will not say this is why I don't buy into the black girl magic, black women are the most educated, and all those things may be true, but I'm still trying to understand how the most educated demographic, how the most um creative and intelligent women become virtual special education students when it comes to dealing with black men. I don't Idiot. understand Idiot. how they're okay. allowing men who collectively do not read past the third grade level to keep running these games and leaving them with children that exactly. they're going to discard. Well, I minute, just can't minute, understand now. that. The now the third reading, grade, the, that's kind of high. reading level for them here is fourth grade level. What the fuck can he teach your daughter or son? Exactly. Exactly. I, th I think you and, and basically the special education kids, I think they're a, they have a lot more compassion. I'm sorry. And brains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, here he is, y'all. All they got was 30 seconds. All they got was 30 seconds. A pregnant woman, the fetus and the little boy got 30 seconds. This shit is becoming so common that they not even giving they ass minute long segments no more. Let's go for our 30 seconds, shall we? In tonight's crime report, the boyfriend of a missing woman turned himself in to Baton Rouge police today, and detectives say he told them where to find the bodies of the woman and her two-year-old child. Kaylin Johnson's body was discovered along Burbank Drive near Gardier Lane. Her son's body was found along Central Thruway, south of Frenchtown Road. Baton Rouge police say both bodies appeared to have been where they were found for several days. Johnson's boyfriend, Brennan Murphy, faces two counts of first-degree murder. That is it. That is what is left of that girl's life and her baby. 30 seconds. Her picture, the picture of her child, the fact that the nigga got arrested, it's done. You won't hear about this woman again after the end of this month. You won't. There's people that's talking about it. But that's it. This is her legacy. It's all over. Kaylin and Caden are done. That were their names. The reason I spoke their names is because they're not going to be spoken again. This is your legacy. This is what you're leaving behind. This was the last thing somebody had to say about you because you had to get with a 20-year-old dusty son of a bitch that all the bitches thought was fine. Oh, God. Okay. They don't want you past them pulling their dick out after intercourse. You have served your purpose. There's nothing left. If he comes up on hard times, he'll give you a call. If he needs you to pay his cell phone bill, he'll give you a call. But after he pulls that penis out, you are done. You're not worth anything to him. You've served your purpose. Why are we continuing to do this shit over and over and over? They say repetition is the best teacher. I'm starting to question that shit too because ain't no shortage of stories on this shit. None. DZ, go DZ, ahead. DZ, they, think, they think all these cicadas is fine. Every time you can post a picture of, <laughs> of Grambling. Post Girl, you can, post, you can post a picture of Kodak Black and, they'll, and somebody will say he's fine. The, what is, what's the favorite mammy saying? Ooh, dang, he's bae. Mm. Mm. I ain't seen one. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but I ain't seen it. Aries lady, welcome to the panel. How are you? Aries lady, are you there? She must have dropped right. off. Uh, Peanut, are you dusty? Um, No, no, I'm not DC. Okay, no, what, not you DC. Here? what you got on this story? Um, This is just so upsetting. Um, the these devils will find new ways to just, I, I can't even speak, it's just so much. Yeah, it's, and it's, it, it's it doesn't matter. It's and it doesn't matter where they're from, they're all like this. 
They're all like this because yeah. I'm from um, East Africa. They're all like this. It, um, even, you know, b- because you'll hear these uh, women talking about, um, these mammies talking about, oh, go, go to Africa, at least they'll marry you. Yes. What the fuck they do you might... get out of a marriage with a nigga? Huh? No, but he's even the if one, they... <laughs> he, he's the one coming up. I don't even know why they say that shit. He the one coming but... up. If he owes child support, that's going to be on you, sis. Go ahead and file your taxes with him and watch what happens. No, but even if they marry you, you're uh, a married uh, single mother. Mm. You're just you're just married, and and th- there's no point. And he's abusing your children. Uh, th- these women don't care about their children. That's the honest truth. They really, really don't. And you're they're exactly very, right. very. They don't care about their children, and they're very, very arrogant. Because um, I mean, for the pe- for the people that uh, believe in God you know that God doesn't change the nature of a people until they change it themselves. So these women think they're better than the creator. That is the truth. My thing is this. If you, you just said that they don't care about their kids, and I agree with you 150%. If you're going to have a friendship with one of these mammies and you know that they don't care about their kids, you're literally putting yourself in danger as well. Because if she's not going to protect something that came from her body, she's not going to help protect you. You're just going to be a casualty right along with her. Do you think with this story that we just talked about, if he came to shoot her and you were there with him or her, that he would have spared you? No, you going to, it'd have been three fucking bodies found instead of two and a pregnant woman. No, that's why I ha- for some people, I just literally had to stop being um, friends with them because I, 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 I found their husbands very, you know, red flaggy and a bit dangerous. And I didn't like how they were moving and I had to cut them off because I couldn't I couldn't cope with their, the way their husbands were behaving, the way they were talking. Now, your standards are too high, um, according to them. Uh, he's just being a man. A man will be a man. What the fuck does that even mean? Then they're, they're not men. They're junk DNA. That's what I've been calling them. Junk DNA, and they need to be phased out. That is the honest truth. Oh, I agree. Welcome to the panel, Aries lady. Not junk DNA. <laughs> yes, they're junk um, DNA. <laughs> that is true. And you know, I was gonna say to to follow up with that. You this can't be. Now I only just heard the last story you you talked about and I know that when you know the divested crowd say you know abort black boys and all of that you know the manosphere and everybody lose they and t- oh that is so extreme them divesters are evil bitches they bad women divesters aren't saying that divesters are saying don't fuck with them period boom Wait. just hey, like that uh-huh. right. but, but, yep. now, but now you don't even even if divesters was saying that even if they were, these niggas throwing the babies off the damn bridge anyway. So who's really at fault here? This person... Well, it's like this, Aries lady. <laughs> it's because he was able to make that choice. You are not allowed to make choices. Oh, An um... abortion would be your choice. It was your idea. Him oh. flinging a fucking baby over a bridge, that was his idea, which makes him a man. That's how bizarro world brained it. These mm. motherfuckers are. They're crazy as hell. They be sitting here screaming. Oh, they don't want to mess. You messing up the black community. You ain't going to never find another man like them. Which so you fucking what? Yeah, you you shouldn't. Thank God. You shouldn't. you shouldn't. But they're over here killing kids and pregnant women. This, this, this year, and I'm sure there's more, but I've heard you spoke of two pregnant women getting killed. So now they just getting you while you're pregnant, before you even have the baby. Well, the stats say this, that you have a greater chance of getting murked by your dusty Mm -mm. when you're with child. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The the chances of that happening goes up exponentially. It's Mm -hmm. almost as if him being, the potential of him becoming a father is triggering to him. You become even more disgusting than you were before you were pregnant with his baby. Okay, so I have a question then. And this this goes out to all the mammies in mammy land. If you're being murked while you're being, you know, if you have a higher chance of getting murked while you're pregnant, what what say y'all now? Are you going to still speak life into him? I just, I want to understand that. It's 20, um, 2022. Speaking life into, uh, uh, Nick, I'm sorry, cicadas don't, don't work. <laughs> well, you know, they, that's what they say. You got to just speak life into them. You got to give them a job. You got to. No, they, they're, not, they're okay. not speaking. Uh-uh. 
Yeah. They're not you, speaking life into them. They're speaking death into their kids. That's what they're doing. Exactly. You cannot speak. I keep preaching this. You cannot speak life into something that what? is dead. But Why you is this the only group of men? That's not wrong because the mammy say that all you have to do is speak life and be something other than well, what you know, those bitches are dick dizzy. Anything <laughs> that come out of their fucking mouth is gonna be some bullshit anyway. You know, when you get bad advice from a mammy, her lips are separated. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime think... the bitch's lip is separated, she giving you some awful advice because these bitches right. won't stop. They won't stop. It's a nonstop gravy train for these niggas, and this is why this shit will never stop happening. You are pathetic. You are too willing to do everything. They get everything for nothing, and it makes them detest you even more because you don't have standards. If you are so fucking hell-bent on getting with one of these niggas, you had better stop being so fucking thirsty. Mm -hmm. You so damn thirsty, they putting you in a river to go ahead and quench that thirst, bitch. Who <laughs> is listening to them and for the last two and three decades, they've been chasing them behind these same men and got nothing. So who the hell is trying to listen to them? This well, is why I say black women need to be held accountable because they're perpetuating this. They're indiscriminate breeding and, mm -hmm. and shitting out these children for men that they know are worthless. At some point, we have to hold the most educated demographic accountable. Yeah. So they keep trying to give them the benefit of the Oh, I was just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I hate that damn saying. That is the stupidest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> I, I think what it is is um, because they're having... Um, I, I don't even know what they're not having sex with these people because what do these men call it smashing like it's all very violent language they use around sex so all that sperm is going somewhere it's being absorbed into their cervix and rotting their brains out that's what's happening yeah, and the they might be the most like educated but they're most low IQ people these yeah. women and letting them insert that shit into you is making you funky sis uh, you smell like you fuck a black man. How about that? Part? <laughs> they, they, oh, and they always got vagina problems. Damn coochies be lit like a damn firecracker. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, spray some luminol on that bitch. That dead motherfucker is all uh, lighting up like a Christmas tree. They this always you, Aaliyah. <laughs> they always selling goddamn soap, Yanni soap, Yanni wash, Yanni pearls. Girl, just quit. Just go to the source. When you stop the prop, when you resolve. Take away the problem, you won't have these symptoms. Exactly. You got to be steaming your joint, boiling your joint, flambéing it, hibachi in it, air frying it. <laughs> you got to dice it up, saute <laughs> it, oh, put some peroxide on it, some baking soda on it, soak it. Into, girl, put a stuff. cap full of bleach in your water and sit there for a couple. I mean, God damn, what are we doing? Disinfecting a room? What's wrong with you, hoes? Basically. And y'all always lit and burning. Why y'all always burning? Uh -huh. mm. That I acidic, not, that I acidic semen from them niggas eating goddamn what y'all say takis and grape <laughs> soda and and bullshit. I'm sorry, I do drinking, not drinking Hennessy. Drinking Hennessy, ladies. Exactly. I'm sorry, I cannot see another one of your twats in the stirrups. <laughs> I am done. Ooh. Okay. OK, I am done. And I you know, I've seen some of you, you you'll you'll put try to put perfume down there to help the situation. And that ain't going to do nothing but give you a does, UTI. It gives mm -hmm. you a UTI along with the crunch you already got. OK, <laughs> you, it's already I mean, you, you're already rotten down there. Fix your shit up and stay away from the dusties. I'm sorry. I don't want to see you in the stirrups anymore. I will die next time. My nose hairs will burn. <laughs> My eyes will burn and tear up. I can't. Uh -uh. Go ahead, Aaliyah. It's on you. <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just listening to everybody else, but I just don't understand why this is the only group of men that you have to speak life into. Like their actions, like they need all these cheerleaders. Their actions are really predicated upon what the women do. And no other group of men really is, you know, they don't really need all of that. You got to speak life into them. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. Speaking life into them. So I got to guide him. I got to. What am I supposed to do? What is speaking life? What the fuck is that? I know what That's speak, what I know what speak so why life you is. With, why you want to be with somebody you got to do all that for? Why? Exactly. How is that attractive? I don't exactly. understand this. 
I, you best. should do that. You should do this shit because this is what men do. And you say you are a man. So if you are a man, I don't have to do all of that just for you to know what you need. But see, a lot of black men don't understand their role. And that's always been the biggest problem. Because you don't, they you don't have a role in the black community. They don't but have I, one. I disagree. I think they do understand their role. But they understand our role too, and they really want that role. They don't want the. They don't want to be responsible. They don't want to do take responsibility. Do y'all know what? Do y'all know what that speak life? That speak that speak life into me is AKA. Let me do what I want. It set me exactly. for where I'm at. You gonna and do what the hell I want? Exactly. You gonna exactly. Set me at my at my mediocre self ass. And I'm not listening to shit you gotta say. And that, still was, that was what I was about to say about that man gonna be a man talk. That's all that's cold for is he gonna do what the hell he wanna do regardless to what I say. And since I wanna hold on to him, I've decided to accept that rather than be by myself. And it's it's very desperate and sad. It is. So, I'm not going. I'm not going. And it's going to, like we always say, get worse. Also, that's not the only thing that's going to get worse. The truth bombs that get spit over here is going to get worse. Because you listen, y'all, I used to try to handle them with kid gloves, but after getting some of those responses, it just completely changed me. It's like, no, you're not gonna sit here and argue with facts. You're not gonna sit here and argue with this news story that you know is true. Didn't you just tell me some shit like this happened uh, in your same town? What on earth? What, out of one br- out of one side of your face, you're saying, oh, nobody ever told me I was beautiful. I was this, I was that. Da, da, da. But it's easy for you to believe that you're better than the next chick, even though he beat the brakes off of her motherfucking ass, even though he left her with a child one year, came back, fucked her again, left her with another child. Those the mammies I don't get. How you become baby mama twice from a nigga that left you with the first one? But anyway... I don't handle them with kid gloves anymore because it's, this is not, it's not debatable what's happening out of every source, no matter what rate the race it is, whoever made the, the stats or calculated the stats, they're all coming up with the same numbers. So it's not everybody lying on these men. It's you not wanting to believe what the actual truth is. And I'm getting so fucking tired of it. So like I said, it's going to get a lot worse over here as well. We're going to be rough around the edges and all that shit. Because guess what? Not being rough around the edges ain't helping a whole bunch of bitches. They still get their shit split. Mm -hmm. You and your fingernails and your hair and your lace front and your eyelashes and your beat to the God's face is getting your ass pummeled into the earth by these same dusties that you say people are too rough around the edges for. So and they don't even this? clean. They don't even clean the the nails. I, I don't. Mm. They don't even wash the under under you know the nail bed. They don't wash that. <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't, can't stand to see somebody with them acrylic nails and they taking the other nail and flicking some debris from under the shit. Because oh they God! <laughs> Listen, I've seen it. They'll sit there with the nails, flick up under the other nail with one of the the nails to clean the debris. I guess the 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 hot wing sauce or whatever the fuck is up under her nails, and that's. That'd be a good thing. Hopefully it ain't none of that dick shit that you've been all playing in. But yeah, they have a whole lot of hygiene problems and they smell like it. Like I said, it's going to get a lot worse over here. Putting a whole bunch of baby powder in your pants, that ain't going to help it either, sis. You're going to end up with ovarian cancer. Pull up. Pull the fuck up. It's on you, Shane. Oh, I'm just over here just flabbergasted. I mean, it's just, I'm just so sick of hearing the same stuff and I also wanted to say on the anchor baby anchor for me isn't it just about them trying to anchor themselves to you because they don't want the fucking kid I think to me anchor baby is just an anchor to anchor you down they Mm -hmm. want to anchor your life down they want to anchor down your progress they want to get rid of ruin your life and get rid of any and all hope for you to advance so you could be anchored underneath their fucking boot in the mud. Mm-hmm. Punishment. They see their children as your punishment. They know good and well that there is no consequences. Look at what's going on with Kelly Rowland right now. She's beaming with joy because she reconnected with her father after 30 years. They can walk out of your life and come back and be greeted with open arms. There are no consequences. To right. what they do. 
he I'm sure her father didn't think that she was going to be angry and all this extra shit and say, hey, don't fucking call me no more. You ain't been here for 30 years, so don't pull up now. They know that they can come back. They know that you're the soft place to land. I don't know what folk ain't getting about the shit, but the shit is fucking ridiculous. And every time y'all let one of these motherfuckers get you pregnant, some some of the most disgusting shit falls out of your body, and it's called Tyrone. They're they're fucking violent. I'm scared of them. Matter of fact, let's go here. Let's go here, because what nobody even fucking with this nigga, and he gonna go ahead and just put everybody in danger. Nobody was fucking him. Nobody was mammying for him. He just was out there seeing who he can fuck up. Let's go. And developing also here at noon. Some new details after a deadly shooting on a Broward County bus. A gunman opening fire on that bus yesterday afternoon, killing two people. Four others have been injured. And we're now a lot of y'all ride public transportation because you're in college and you, you know, getting your degree and making your way out here in the world. Imagine being on the bus living in South Florida, minding your own goddamn business. And here comes Mammy's son. Mammy's son, Shirley, Barbara's son. Jasmine's son, Keisha's son, he's having a bad fucking day. And guess what? You're not going to make it to that exam. We're now seeing surveillance video of that bus going the wrong way, crashing into cars before pulling into the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Local 10 News reporter Sarah Onwar is live at the scene. And she does have reaction from witnesses and tells us who's being really called a hero today after this whole ordeal. And on top of that, Christy and Janice, we're also learning more about the man police say is responsible for this deadly shooting. His name is Jamal Myers. He was arrested yesterday. They released his identity today, and he was actually supposed to appear before a Broward County judge this morning to hear his charges and to have his bond set. But his attorney appeared on his behalf and said that's going to have to be rescheduled due to medical reasons. Police identifying 35 year old. That's your baby. That's your little cutie poop poop to do. That's what's falling out of you. This is why people are getting annoyed with you. That little fat, chubby, nine pound baby that you thought was so awesome. Well, this is the end result of that. This is the motherfucker that they become living in your house for whatever reason, whatever the circumstances were. This is what's being put out into this community. And part of it is this. There are no consequences, as I repeatedly said. He will. He didn't even have to show up to his bond hearing. Somebody should have put a warrant out and uh, arrested this motherfucker. He killed two people on a bus, people he didn't even know. I'm talking about he opened fire and was hoping to kill multiple people. He only got two, so I'm sure he's disappointed. This is y'all sons. This is y'all sons. I don't want to hear about human rights. I don't want to hear about any of that shit. He deserves his day in court. He deserves this, that, and the third. Y'all just had a motherfucker that tried to start a race war, was sentenced to 150 days, and did six. I told you he was going to do 72. Six fucking days, and his juicy ass is back at the house. These is these are y'all babies. These y'all babies. And I'm mm -hmm. I, every time I see a pregnant black woman, I'm I keep my fingers crossed that hopefully it's a girl and hopefully she don't be a mammy because y'all sons, my y'all sons. No, it's a done deal. It's a done fucking deal. Why? Mm -hmm. Why do y'all keep having these motherfuckers? You cannot go out here, have these motherfuckers, raise them or whatever, and then let them come out here and terrorize other people. Then when he fucks somebody up, you show up to the courthouse begging and pleading for his life. How dare you? Mm -hmm. There a needs, joke. It, it is a joke. There needs to be, whenever they got their mammies at this courthouse, I wish there was some sort of group of some sort of whatever to come out and be like, listen, are you getting ready to beg for your son's life? If, if, if We're going to have to protest your motherfucking ass if you do that. You love him. We don't have to love him. Your son is not innocent anymore. He doesn't have rights anymore. And you're not getting ready to plead with them to bring him back out here so he can fuck up more people. Y'all already know he's had multiple arrests. I'm sure you already know that mm -hmm. without me even telling you. But see, DZ, this is why I say voting these liberal judges and DAs, I'm going to always say that, is not helping black women. We need to vote back in these bull Connors into uh -huh. office so they can get these motherfuckers in place because y'all voting in these black women judges and black male judges they're not doing anything but unleash unleashing these monsters out on the streets to kill again 
them, the police chief, the black uh, councils, city council members, all of them. It's only to protect these men. And usually you're their victim. So you could literally take that as a affront to your fucking safety when you see people trying to do bond reform, bail reform, sentence reform. They're usually there because they fucked you up. Exactly. So when they go in front of somebody that makes laws and say, hey, we think they're being punished too harshly, they're telling you your life don't mean a goddamn thing. And you should take that shit personal. Because if you look at the picture of his victim, she probably looks like you. Okay. Go ahead. When you, when you look at it, DZ, they really not really getting punished because like you just said with uh, Juicy, he only did six days. He didn't really get no punishment for all that bullshit he did. Right, Cook oh. County. That, that's then, a liberal city. They're not, I'm telling you, these guys that get out or don't go to jail at all or don't get a bail and released on the streets, they usually come from these Democrat and liberal run cities. I don't mm -hmm. understand why black women are not understanding that. I have you to know, say, that I man, have that white Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Melanie. I was, I was, I was gonna say, you know, it, well, she's right when she talks about the liberal and blue areas. I'm glad, I'm glad where I'm at. It is red and it's heavily conservative. It's like that Amen. on purpose, and it, probably, and it probably won't change. So, I, to be honest with you, I, I'll never go to a blue area. Thank I, I'm you. Gonna be where I'm that man that wiped his secretions on that woman on the subway who we seen walked around with, you know, hot secretions he had I think it was 21 prior arrests they not really getting no time for the shit liberal they be doing city. again another liberal city they never do because at the end of the day they go in they get booked they see the judge they're back out because according to here or that space where he, that ninja did all of that you know the jails are full of them which to me should say something like it. It says a lot that if you have a jail that's full of them, it's time to get more strict with the laws, but they don't. The mammies come out in full effect and they say that the, these ninjas is being treated harshly like they did. Juicy <clears throat> and they make all types of claims. Oh, he can't be in jail because, you know, his asshole might fall out. Listen, oh, yeah. Charles, yeah. let me tell you something. Charlie Hustle or whatever your name is, go ahead and put that into context for me. I want to know who the fuck you think you're talking to. I know you're not talking about simple when you just heard a panel, panel member up here say that y'all reading at a fourth grade level. Are you dusty? What mm -hmm. the fuck you mean? They are the damn fourth grade level. What the fuck you going to teach your daughter or son? How to be more stupid? Y'all being too but they simple. geniuses when it comes to sweet talking black women, not they pussies, though. I give them that. Oh, yeah, they don't they, have they, to they, be geniuses. These women yeah, are they, dumb. They don't really have to be geniuses. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing to <laughs> they they are dumb. Dumb. Everywhere they are, they're dumb. I had a, um, because I'm from East Africa, I had, I have a friend that goes back home, um, quite a lot. So I asked her, I said, you know, how, how is it, uh, you know, how are women treated over there? And she said, you know what, there's actually quite um, a few men in hospital because um, these women, because they've been putting hands on them. And so they've chucked boiling water on them while they've been sleeping. I said, oh, good on them, as they should be. Mm. All, all I got to do is give them a couple of you, It's on you, Aaliyah. Go ahead. Yeah, all I got to do is they don't have to do much to get that. All I got to do is what? Take them to Applebee's. Maybe a movie, if that, call them a couple queens, you know, you know, tell them they love them, don't even mean it, whatever. That's all it takes. See, they're not required to prove anything. It's all in what they say. They can just say something and it sounds good. And these women, oh, he's such a good man. And it's like, how the fuck do you know that? You don't even what know anything. What is it that they tell black women that's, that's a big Scooby snack? They, they love telling black women. You a real one, Queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Her panties drop just like that. That's all. I'm she sorry. Is. I'm sorry. But Sasha Johnson, she was a real queen. And now she has <laughs> half a head. Uh -oh. Wow, that's actually true. Her head is shaped like a fucking cereal bowl right now. And I'm not even trying to be funny. A real cereal bowl when you're hungry like that. I'm, I'm going to hop down, y'all. DC, thank you for having me up here. Good night, ladies. Good, Good night, night, Melanie. I'm going to hop down. Let somebody get on. Good night. Okay. Thank you for coming up. 
I just put the link in the chat. What you what your trolls ain't gonna do is sit down there and troll. Um, mm -hmm. anybody that got a mod wrench, go ahead and get them out of here because here's the deal: the link is right there. If you got something that we're lying about, you see that we're lying about something, come up here and tell us that we're lying about it. Because you're not gonna sit there and, and clap your ass cheeks down there talking about somebody being simple. You're gonna come up here. And you're going to get your ass dragged and you're going to get the fuck on because the, the problem is black women are dying. Black women are dying at the hands of people that look like you. So you're not going to sit down there and twerk and stanky leg and moonwalk and none of that shit. Bring you your cheap ass jersey up here and say what the fuck you got to say. Bring your Hennessy breath ass up here. You're not going to twerk in my chat room. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to get on here after the playback start on, at three o'clock in the morning talking your shit. You're not going to do that shit either. If you got some smoke, bitch, let's go. It's Friday night. Let's go. I'm always here for the smoke. These women are dying. Okay. Diana Prince, are you dusty? I am not dusty. Okay. And happy Friday to you. Same to you, sweetheart. What you got you, on the story? You are hilarious. I've been cackling at some of your old videos all day today. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dumb. The information is right it's, there. And if you're going to debate the shit, your ass is remedial as hell. And you asking for somebody to come and split your shit. It's just crazy. I just think like people in the black community is just like they need to get their heads out their butts because I live in San Francisco Bay Area and Two of the three Dusties that actually killed the security guard last year that was guarding the news people that were getting ready to set up for like an interview, they just caught two of those three Dusties. Mm. And I'm 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 not understanding why Tina Knowles and uh, Fuck that Taraji bitch. Fuck her. But, but see, they're not not Willie that Earl, same click energy, the link. Though. Click the link. Click the link. You heard my mods. You're not gonna sit down there and twerk. Yeah, they're not keeping that Wait, same energy though. Earl? And it's just like what? Like you wanna you wanna tell Jesse Smutlet that he is wrongfully convicted of stuff that he orchestrated himself. But I you ain't got smoke for people that's over here killing people though. I told y'all. The... I told y'all that he wasn't going to do a lot of time. I thought he would at least do seventy days, which is like half of what they sentenced him to. But because they are a protected class, they always get their way. They're hollering racism, but there's nobody that's white that would have gotten accused of some sort of hate crime or trying to start a race war that would be able to sit at the house and wait for their appeal to go through. No, that's reserved for dust buckets. That's reserved for dust buckets. I don't see the racism. As a matter of fact, they are being way too lenient on these people that's fucking y'all up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It seems like you don't give a fuck. Just well, as long I as ain't nobody fucking with black men, you good. Well, I actually had a friend of mine call me up because she knows I'm divested. And she goes, I just wanted to know your your take on the, the Smollett case. And I just said, well, you know, the fool got off light. He got off easy and he should have been in jail for at least a year. How dare you say that? How dare you say that? He shouldn't have gotten any time. I said, OK, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. OK, you, you knew how I felt about these but that's why she asked Decatur. you, though. Whenever you exactly. hear me ask you, that's they, they're looking for the exactly. smoke. Exactly. How do you exactly. feel about Jesse? What the fuck you mean how I feel about him? So, mm -mm. Then they'll counter that with, oh, so how do you, what about the guys that um, did the January 6th resurrection? They're what all about being them? indicted. That's I'm like, that's federal. Saying. That ain't got nothing to do with you. And them motherfuckers fixing to do jail time. So, if you want them to be treated equally, then then Juicy Booty would be doing jail time. They don't want them to have to, be, you know, pay for anything that's going on with them. Divester Die, are you dusty? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Are you dusty? 
Absolutely. No, I am not. Okay, wonderful. Just, what you got on the stories? I really need to discuss with you. Well, first off, thank you. You're um, welcome. I have called in before and I mentioned to you that when I first listened to you, I had to take like breaks. It used to take me like three or four days to get through just one of your lives. It was just so, oh, I, I don't even know how you do this, but thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you for coming up. Thank you for supporting us. Yes, without a doubt. And of course I do support as well. Super chat and absolutely through Cash App. I definitely will. Um, not to take up you and the panel's time, but I wanted to just uh, you know, bring up as you have, but kind of just delve a little bit deeper, these women, these mammies, how they go after young black girls, how predatory they are towards young black girls. For example, let's say you're like a 19, 20, 21, 22, you, you, which means you're basically just out of high school and you've now entered the adult world, the adult world. Notice how these women, these mammies will keep saying, oh no, she's grown, oh, she's grown. No, she's an adult, 20 years old is an adult. But they never bring up the fact is you have middle aged people specifically go and men and women, but just talking about these women, they specifically go after these young girls age 24 and younger because they are naive, because they are they are ignorant and they have no adult history. They have no adult life. You're 20 years old. You're an adult. But how many years of adulthood do you have? Barely one. A 20 year old just left high school and we all know what high school is. High school is authority. You have to listen to authority because one, you will be a disciplinary case or number two, they'll put you on medication. So these kids are leaving an environment where they have total and complete uh, just authority. They have co like complete, they're complicit to the adult. They go to the adult. So these mammies who then use emotional manipulation, they start, like, oh, I'll be your plain mommy. Oh, how are you? I love you. I love you, love you. And this is like some, this is like your coworker. So you'll have a, another black woman who's twice her age or maybe two and a half, three times her age. She will go after the young girl for money. Oh, I noticed you work so many hours. Well, you know, um, I'm a single mom and I need, I, I need this, this, and this. It's, it's just, I'm, that she'll start putting all her struggle on this young girl. And she will specifically go after the young girl because people my age, I'm an older millennial. I called in early, I called in last week. I'm an older millennial. You can't run this nonsense on me. These women don't go to women like me. They don't come to me trying to What act. they're doing, divest or die, is feeding the younger women to black males. They know that's good exactly and fucking, what they're doing. They know good and well that that's right. something that they like, something fresh out of high school, and that's doing good. For them to even wait for her to get out of high school. But the, the mammies call them, oh, she's grown. Oh, she's this, she's that. Because they know that they have to be perceived as grown so that Dusty's can keep fucking them. That's yes. all that is. And on top of that, the young yes. people are also the resource. Because you have this mammy with this black man in her house. But yet you will go after a young girl for money and resources. So they keep you in this loop and you and feed off you like a parasite. They are predators. They we, are. And and to add to what DZ said, it's ritualistic abuse. They're they're grooming you for the dead things that came from their wombs. That's what they're doing. That's what they're grooming you for. And uh, you're saying that they treat you like adults when you're 20. In in my community, they treat you like adults as, as soon as your period hits you. You're told you're a woman now, you're a woman now, you better start acting right. And for somebody like myself that grew up in, um, you know, England as a teenager, I was kind of threatened with if, if they thought I was acting funny or if they couldn't control me, oh, you're going to get sent back home and we'll marry you off to somebody. So it's like you're constantly being threatened with, uh, you know, graping in a way because you, you know that you're going to be married to a grown man. And I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that your, of course, excuse me for interrupting. I'm glad you mentioned, um, of course, uh, your story. What I'm really concerned about is that you have, you have a young black girl. She's just now entering the world by herself. She has no stability. She has no stability and she's trying so hard just to get herself started. 
So it, it, it's, it, I, you can understand when she's working, she's 20 years old, she's now with adults, and an older Black woman appears to want to take her under her wing. And she naturally wants to oblige. She naturally does. And she has no idea, no idea that she's being scammed. No idea I- specifically targeted. You are targeted. You have, DZ, I know this sounds a little bit off, off subject, DZ, but if I may ask, if I may kind of jog your memory, DZ, um, I know, I, I know this sounds a little odd, but it goes with my, my same example. The situation with Monica Lewinsky, Linda Tripp. I know you remember. Hold on a second. I, I don't want to go down that road. I, know, I, just, I, just wanna bring, I just want to bring up, if I may, that the yeah, thing, make you know, sure that you you, you get to it because I don't, okay. All right, I'm a, I'm gonna remove you because you can't hear me. I guess my mic isn't working. Becoming divine, your device is not connected, right? If you are dusty, go ahead and connect your device so I can undust your motherfucking ass. All right. I think I, I think I know where she was going with that because um when you think about the old saying and misery loves company that's kind of what that is because if you look at a lot of the women's lives the mammies that she's talking about those older women the older mammies they have pretty much thrown their lives away they haven't really amounted to anything and so they will take a young ambitious woman who has a head on straight and then try to corrupt her I've seen it. So I kind of know where she's going with that. And it's all about them not wanting to see they didn't do anything with themselves and they don't want to see you do or have anything better either. That's so, correct. And that's part of it. That's part of it. The other part is they want to keep Dusty's pleased. If you can go fishing for, for those women, for them, you're essentially muling and keeping them happy. So the the younger you are, the more likely the mammy is going to basically say that's a woman. She's menstruating. That's a woman. She finished high school. That's a woman. So she can feed, you know what I'm saying? So she can feed them to the dusties in the community because let's just keep it real. What age were you when the dusties told you you hit the wall? 20 fucking five. Exactly. And, and that goes back to, you know, that's also the other part of what I was saying, because when you look at what their lives have become, typically they have, multiple children by different men that aren't really around and so they're struggling with that and a lot of them are really just down bad and yeah they will take a woman who's you know maybe a recent graduate on her way to college really knows what she wants to do with herself and they will take somebody like that and just turn her out I know exactly what she's talking about. I've seen it. I oh, yeah, been, of course. Yeah, I've yeah. Seen it before too. all common. of us have seen it. Right. It's common in the black community. The common uh, progression of black males is birth, school to prison pipeline, jail, and then on to sleep on somebody's couch. So if black women start to wake up, then where are these males that these black women insist on birthing going to go? Absolutely Actually, nowhere. Remember, DZ, somebody tried to sell my ass off. Remember? Yep. Yep. Was, That's what I was, I was saying. Everybody yeah. has seen it or witnessed it firsthand. You have a firsthand account of that shit. Yes, a lot I do. of times with the mammies, they are the one. All these sex trafficking stories y'all hear, it's not always the Dusties that go get them. It's their mules that bring them to them. They're exactly. working in tandem with these exactly. motherfuckers. Somebody tried to, and, uh, ladies, somebody tried to sell me off in my family. I, I was 16 years old. And I made the mistake of telling a family member what I wanted to do, Uh, go to college, go to professional school, do this and that. And she and that mammy got caught wind of it. And she found a guy five years older than me to hitch me to and made a deal with this guy in exchange for my virginity. He was supposed to get me pregnant so that I wouldn't do anything anything so yeah i'm so sorry all right that's crazy that's crazy that's why i don't have patience with them the mammies go ahead you know back in our day um it was taboo to say we wanted to go to college or we wanted to do something with our lives because it was expected that we go to school graduate high school or get a ged 
and then become a baby mama or do some mammy and mewling for the community. Yeah, you was bougie as fuck if you wanted to go right. to college for any remember, particular reason. You I thought remember you were when, better than others. I remember when I started having college brochures mailed to my house and my mom would throw them away. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Oh, Become a divine. You're connected now. Are you dusty? Hi, DZ. I am not dusty. Thanks to channel. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for not being dusty. What you got? Um, I just wanted to comment on the story because I'm commuting. I'm in my last year of college and stories like this really do scare me. <laughs> I take the train and I live in California. So there's dusties all over the train and it's really scary. But what has helped me is, and I just wanted to give this tip out for girls who are commuting, taking the train as well. I always go to the conductor cart because they don't bother me when I'm near a conductor. One time I was getting on the train at like 4 a.m. to go to school. And this older, dusty man, he looked like he was in his 50s or 60s. He was like, oh, can you, can you, you're supposed to buy your train, your train ticket online. He's like, can you buy me a ticket? Can you buy my ticket, ma'am? I'll give you cash. And the conductor got mad. He was a white man, too. He was like, get away from her. Do not bother my passenger. And he asked me if I was okay, A, B, C, and D. So just... That's yeah, when, when real men show the fuck up, they usually start cowering, especially if they're unarmed. When a real man hits the room, they turn into the pussy ass motherfuckers that they are. Mm -hmm. That's just the fact of the matter. They're cowards. And that's why you see so many black women's bodies dropping, because let's just keep it real. They're stronger than you. They're you really on average, on average, because there's some sisters that's about their life. On average, if it's a dude, he's going to be able to beat your ass. That's why they bloviate and do all this shit, pound on their chest and act a fucking fool. But as soon as somebody that can match his strength shows up, it's, oh, it ain't even that serious. I didn't even say nothing to the bitch. Why don't you mind your bitch? But they never, ever attack them unless they're in groups. Have y'all noticed that shit? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's amazing to see. Okay. This yeah. is why it's imperative for black women to form friendships and cohesions with non-black men. Mm -hmm. This being tribal and only wanting to be around black people is killing us. I have a very strong circle of white male friends that I know if I call is on. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm second that. Well, I third it, so. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Y'all got to stop believing that, oh, they are just going to fetishize you. Oh, they no. They know how to be your friend. They also are well trained in weaponry. Okay. Right. And I live in an open care state, baby. If I call my friend right now and say some shit going down, he's showing up with the whole damn arsenal. Where they at? Mm hmm. I mean, to be honest, white men, they can say we worship them all they want to, but that's truly been, I they do. have truly been some of our best friends. I, I mean, some of my best friends have been white men. I mean, it is what it is. I've had white men that I didn't even really know all that well. He may have just been a co-worker, but if I needed gas or one day I remember I ran out of gas and my car stopped in the middle of the street and one of my co-workers left work and literally went and bought a gas can and brought me gas for my car. That's just what they, they do. do. They just but like you know why they do that? You they know why see they do a that? woman need yeah, they see women in need of help exactly. and that's just what they do. And that's all they do. But see, that's the thing. White dudes see you, mammies. Mm -hmm. White dudes see what happens to your vulnerable girls. And yeah. they are not making them the victims, you see. So that's why they know what's going on out there. They know exactly what you face every day, whether you know it or not. Yeah, I'm so. gonna get down because I can't talk anymore. Okay. You're right, Ebony. They they've better. been knowing black men, white men been knowing black men for y'all shitted them out. They know the pathology <laughs> of black men. Hell, they had to know them to conquer them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anytime y'all, which I was saying about the gas cans and them knowing how to do shit and weapons and all that shit. Every time a mammy needs something done to her car, she not going nowhere near no black man. She's exactly. taking her ass to a white man. Hey, can I get my oil changed? 
Can I get my uh, brake pads done? Can I get this, that, and the third? Because she know good and goddamn well that nigga at that house can barely make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, my nigga. So you have to go to another group of men when some manly shit exactly. has to be done. But when you take your ass home, you letting him act like a man and jump up and down in your pussy like a stupid jackass. Mm -hmm. And I the difference, with, yeah, the difference with black men is men are is that they feel like if they aren't sleeping with you, they don't have to do shit for you. That's Thank their mentality. You. Thank you. Yeah, they do nothing for you even yeah. when they're sleeping with you. <laughs> they do nothing for you even when they're sleeping with you. But I'm just saying, that's what they will put out there. Like, I'm not fucking her. She ain't my woman. You know, that ain't my wife. You know, even though we know they don't do anything for them either. But that's right. always the excuse behind why they refuse to be men. Exactly. And it's like, do you, I mean, do you have to be fucking somebody to be human and understand that this is a woman in distress and she needs your help? I mean, is, that, is it really? But again, it comes back to knowing your role as men and being a provider and a protector like to white men and other groups of men things like that are it's like it's innate to them nobody it has is. to teach them that no they don't have to be taught these things they just know that this is what this is a woman at the end of the day that's all they need to know they don't have to be sleeping with her but and then they're gonna help you and they're not gonna expect some ass after yes. they do it yes i uh, yeah i i agree with that because last not last summer like three summers ago I had an interview at a hotel and my ride had bailed on me and these this was like back in like my mammy days where I was just with you know black men and I was I had like a situationship with this one man and if you can even call him a man but I needed a ride and last minute he of course bailed on me so I'm stuck I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna miss my interview my roommate's boyfriend who is white drove an hour to come pick me up just for this interview and dropped me off and took me all the way back home. That's And that's it. He didn't ask me for no gas, no nothing. He was like, you need a ride? You're going to get a job interview? I got you. I'm on my way. And he was there on time. I, I barely knew him, but he came and he was white. So I agree with everything you guys are saying. Okay, check it out. I'll, I'm, I'm doing context here. I don't know, VW. I don't know the context of which what you're saying. But if you like to click the link and tell us, which black women are full of it? I'd be more than happy to have you. And then we'll go from there. Hey, Kyra, how are you? Welcome to the panel. Hey, Kyra. I mean, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> hi, DZ. Hi, ladies. Are you going to ask me if I'm dusty? Mm -hmm. No, I know you're not dusty. You only pretend to be dusty. You don't know how to be dusty, girl. What's happening? Oh, I thought I'd bring my rough around the edges self up here. <laughs> I wanted to no. comment about the juicy Somali. Well, first comment. We need to break the habit of combining the terms black and men together. They're not men. They're males. They're beasts of the field. They're cicadas, but they're not men. We got to break that, ladies. They're not men. No, absolutely uh, not. I agree. They're hard R's, knee rests, whatever you want to call them, but they're I not men. I prefer primate. Oops. Okay, you already know that word keeps getting us in trouble with the the other neo mammies, like <laughs> easy likes to call it. The neo mammies keep calling them primates keeps getting us in trouble with them. So, well, speaking of that, I wanted to comment because people trolls in the chat have been saying, "Well, Juicy Smolier is a consequence of divested black women and Brad." No. Juicy Smolier's mother is a, a good example of a swirling mammy. Preach, please. See, divestment women are not that. fucking swirlers. I'm not exactly. going to take no L for no fucking swirler. Swirlers are always open to fucking around with black men. Remember, swirlers are going for the best man for the job, and that includes black men. I am not a swirler. Juicy's mama is a goddamn swirler. Yes, she's one of those swirling mammies, you know, best man for the job. But I happen to end up with a white man, but I still care so much about black power and the mm -hmm. black community. I have my fist up in the air and whatever happens to my son is wrong and is racist. That's the type of woman she is. She's not a divester. So do not confuse swirling mammies with true divesters. They ain't confused. They are not confused. Just like this lady that just got up, um, getting ready to get voted into the Supreme Court. 
I'm suspecting that's a swirler as well, but we'll cover that when she it's makes a her first. Swirling mammy. Oh. Yep, that's okay. what she is. Hmm. Any goddamn. Oh, VW, click the link. VW, are you dusty? Absolutely not. Wonderful. Which black women are full of it? Let let us know. These goddamn mammies. Boom. Let me tell y'all something real quick. I'm not gonna stay on here long. I first of all, GZ, I appreciate you and the ladies on the panel. I, I don't know what made me decide to get on here tonight, but I love y'all, and I just got to get this off my chest. Go ahead, babe. I'm here for it. I am 53 years old. In 2019, I cut everybody the fuck off because I realized long ago, but thank God to white daddy's internet, that the <laughs> black community is all fucked up. And I'm one of the women that cuss, so y'all going to have to excuse me because I'm an electrician, so I work around males all day. Okay, well, make sure it's it's a community guideline cuss word. Fuck is good. Shit is good. Bitch is good. <laughs> right, Stuff. right. I get yeah. it. Okay. I, I get it. I get it because I got kicked off of Facebook enough. Um, But the whole thing is these black, when I say black women are full of shit, I mean, I meant to say the man because I was typing real fast. That's why I asked first. I didn't want to get into a dragon fest when you didn't mean, you know, the other right, way right, right, right. I got no, you. It wasn't going to come down to that. I was typing, but yeah. I, from my grandmother to my aunt who adopted me to my biological mama to my sisters to my female cousins and to my own fucking daughter are all fucking mammies you can and and, and, and I had every female friend that I ever had I fell out with every last one of them because of who I'm gonna let y'all guess <laughs> Probably some shit log, but you going. I think the whole thing is with these black females at this, and I hate to use that term, but I have cussed out so many fuckers over that term. Um, they, I think the whole what y'all was saying earlier about how white guys and non-black men are. I think I don't under, How can I say this? Black women don't have the concept of masculinity, even though they see it around them all fucking day. I don't I, I don't understand how y'all see these other men men doing things and y'all still okay worshiping a male that has never done anything. I, I, y'all making, she making make a good point. Me. She making a good point. You know what it is? It's that, I, I mean, it's that. I, you know what? I have fell out with bitches because I have a son. It's like, you make him shovel the snow. You make him take out the grass. He do that and every fucking thing else like a man that his own fucking biological daddy don't make him fucking do. Trash. Uh, oh my God. Y'all, I, I don't fucking get it. My own fucking daughter. We fell out because she more, she rather be like her uh, dick thirsty aunts, man sharing aunts and family and friends over black because you know the dark skin is everything with these black Female. Oh yeah, it it, it 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 is insane. It's like they was mad at me because I married my baby's daddy. They was mad at me because he bought well now my ex husband bought me two cars. He bought me two houses, and I married the father of the only children that we got between each other. I was a bougie bitch because well you if you got kids and you and your husband to break up, and what if a man don't want you? If you don't, Bitch, I don't want no man with no kids. That's what I choose not to have. Because you chose to have five abortions, leave your baby at the hospital with the sixth one. That's not my business. You know, who I don't understand this worship of these males who don't do nothing for nobody. And then I'm seeing these black females. Oh, it's racist how the Ukrainians are doing them. Okay. <sighs> you know what it is? It's this uh, junk DNA that they're ingesting and that they're putting <laughs> up their bodies has made them crazy. And you know the I saying is, is. You, oh, hold on a minute. And you know what the saying is, you are what you eat. So yep. they're becoming like the evil people that they, you know, eat, basically. That's what I they're becoming. Seen, I have grown up with girls, black girls, that had, was on the honor society. I mean, yes, full scholarship rides to college. They start having sex with a black male. I have seen them literally go crazy. Literally. The valedictorian at my high school, which was a black girl, at the graduation party after it, she got a train ran on her by Dusty. I shit you not. I believe it. So I know what you're talking about. It's insane. And I'm going to say this one more thing, and I promise I'm going to let y'all go, and, and it's not going to be cool. 
because something is wrong. I have never seen a group of women so male identified. Something is wrong with black women. This is what I'm saying. It, they full of shit. I have never, ever, ever. I mean, it's like, Sis, okay, I'm I black agree like you, you. but I, I demand agree. that my man be masculine. <laughs> I demand that my man be a man. And y'all should have been all set of to be, all have to be is dark skinned and that's it. I'm that's sorry. It? And then when I ask him, and then when I ask him, just hold on a second, daughter, VW. Hold on a second, VW. You season out on me. Go ahead, Kyron. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> look, let's just be completely honest. At this point, if you're sleeping with a black man, you're committing bestiality. Oops. <laughs> oh, and let me tell y'all something. Emily's back. Emily, remember how you chicken shit it out last time I was up here? You remember that? Remember I provided you the link, right? And I said, come and say that shit up here. And you kind of just disappeared into the black astanal sphere. Remember that whole little thing? Emily, it, Emily, Emily, it's Friday again. I'm noticing a pattern. I'm noticing a pattern. You po baby. We got to get you set up. We got to get you set up with some shit because you have lost your fucking mind. Emily, the Saffron put the panel, the uh, link down there. Click it. I would love to hear what you sound like. I would love to hear for you to come up and teach us how to speak life into a dead motherfucker. Can you show us that? Can, can you stop using your fingers and trolling my chat? Come on up here with your stupid ass. Welcome yeah, to that's, that's and that's just full of shit anyway. Because motherfuckers have been praising these motherfuckers for centuries, and they still ain't doing shit. How do you how do you see all this shit around you that they're not doing, that they're not accomplishing, and then you still fix your mouth to say what the fuck they typed? Delusion. Child, I'm fixing to block the shit out of her in the chat. So now, if you want to say something, right, you're gonna have to come up. You're going to have to come and say it with your Tyrone pleaser, okay? You're going to have to come and, and, and say it with your, your dusty liquor, okay? Because you tripping, sis. Capricorn Countess, welcome to the panel. How are you tonight? Hey, DZ. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. So, so I just wanted to add how they want to say that they're not dangerous. Meanwhile, this woman got shot over a bowling ball. Oh, you're talking home. about uh, homeboy, baby, on Young Thug. Yeah, yeah. I heard like, about that. You will step over this black woman's dead body to push this black love agenda, speak life into them agenda. You don't need these grapes. They don't give a damn about you. you Emily don't baby. believe that shit. She just trolling her ass off, and she right, just want to go ahead and see the Sparta flip flop. That's all she want. Let me make sure she got the link because I want that ass up here. Come on, might be come on, have I got a rotisserie chicken in my kitchen that I just got from Costco. I'd rather go up in there and speak life into my lemon pepper rotisserie <laughs> chicken <laughs> <laughs> and see what that motherfucker come alive before I speak life into a primate. Well, <laughs> last thing that I'm going to drop down to make, to free up some room. My thing is we've been. Well, not we, but black women have been speaking life and praying over black men for decades now. It hasn't done any good. Why can't black women be logical? If something's not working, then knock it off. You might get more better luck if you start speaking curses into them. You might get the opposite result. You know, Kyra, the thing is, <laughs> and I'm just going to keep it real with you. Everything that we see, they see. They know. They just are willing to sacrifice their lives. They just don't have the balls to say that's what they're doing, right? Because if they say that, then that will scare other people away. They need you to stay in Blackistan with them. So they propose that, you know, what we're saying is not completely true. They're willing to stay. They see all this shit. You don't think they see these stories? You don't think they see the gun memorial? They don't see websites that's keeping track of deaths? shit they local news they see all this shit but they can't they don't have the balls to say hey i'm staying here i know it's dangerous mind your business i'm gonna stay here and die they don't have the nuts to say that shit i'm waiting on one of them to say that shit well you know they're still holding out hope for a unicorn that doesn't exist mm. 
Y'all can't convince me it's BBC or the illusion of BBC because I'm telling you, the white boy is breaking backs around here. <laughs> I'm talking about these southern white boys. Now, I don't know what them soy boy, gluten free boys in North do, but the white boys down here in the South, baby, they yes. had you walking bow legged. Yeah, I'm a, I'm that's, real talk, <laughs> that's real talk, though. That's real talk. And that head game be, be fire. Man, what? The head oh, game be fire. Away secrets. You, you giving away secrets now. I know. I don't even want to tell y'all because shit, I got my own little secret stash. Hell. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Keep fucking them niggas. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, once they done, you could damn near take your pulse down there out between your legs because them boys know what they doing. They it just know is what, they what it doing. is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and drop down to make room for someone else. And I've just posted the links for any haters. I'm out. Thank you for coming up, Kyra. I don't know how you fell down, Capricorn, but let me bring you back up. My bad. I had got a call. No, it's all good. I figured something happened. I just seen you disappear. But it's like this, y'all. I'm so happy to see that there are more and more women actually getting it. It's more and more women that actually know that divestment is about putting themselves first, not worrying about who sees you as feminine, who sees this, who sees that, um, where, where the shrimp fork is supposed to go and pretending to have nervous breakdowns because of something people say and not having nervous breakdowns and seeing black women murdered. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving it. It's not moving as fast as I'd like, but hey, a little bit is better than nothing because back in the day, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, the, the move would have been a lot slower. And I think um, social media has been a blessing and a curse at the same time. The blessing is the fact that you, the, the receipts are at your fingertips, right? The curse is that the other people have the access to it as well to bring their mammy rhetoric. And it can confuse some people, especially if they grew up with nothing but Blackistani influence. So it is what it is. Um, right wing, are you dusty? No, ma'am. <laughs> you know what? I wanted to mention that when I realized that I, I was totally divested, when I saw Derek Chauvin as an American hero, I actually viewed him as a man that was literally squashing like a cockroach, like seriously, because George Floyd is a terrorist, right? And he terrorized black women. And I just, like the lady said on the other live, it kind of turned me on a little bit. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit savage. I know I'm pretty radical with my divestment. Uh, they've even called me Clayton Bixby. And that's not a, that's not, that's not an insult. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. I just love everything that you're doing. This is like therapy for me. I love to see all the ladies getting together uh, in this divestment community because it is growing. Like I said, I see it in everyday life. I see that Black women are waking up. And they're walking around with their brads and, and Jose's and, and sometimes Chun Li. And it's a beautiful thing. So I just, man, don't ever stop. If you stop, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Let me uh, Okay, this. Emily says she's trying to come up, DZ. So I'm gonna drop so Emily can come up. Um, I think VW did VW drop? I'm not sure. But let me how let many me, people are up I'm here, DZ? Here. Huh? How many people are up here now? Um, see, I have to count the people in the back chat as well. I see VW in the back, Peanut. It's like six of us. I'm sorry, eight of us up here. But do you want me to drop down, DC? It's up no, here. absolutely. No, not. no, no. Don't drop down. I'll, I'll drop down. I'll let you. I'll let you ladies chat. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very for much for having up. me. Okay. Thank you for coming up. Of course, Emily. That's thank your you, spot, bye -bye. baby. That's your spot, Emily. There is a fresh spot, Emily. It's and three fresh spots for <laughs> when you said the thing is, I don't like the part where you tried to pretend like I blocked you because I don't want you to come up here. Knock it off, honey. Mm -hmm. Knock it off. You know good and goddamn well you're not blocked. If you came in the back, you saw that the room was full. I need exactly. to come and teach us how to speak life into these people. I would love that. Um, Goddess G, what's going on, sis? Hey, DZ. Hey, y'all. Hi. I wanted to um, just real quick. I wanted to um, address uh, what y'all were talking about earlier about this, like speaking life into them and all that other oh, stuff. Oh, Emily's still down there saying that shit, so it ain't in the past. It's current. Hit it. Oh well, what I wanted to say, and yeah, I saw her comments. The fact of the matter is, you got these men 
who go into the black manosphere and do all this other stuff. And they're, they're bigging each other up. They got all that audacity to, to do all that talking and what comes out of it. They gossip like women and, but we're supposed to lift them up. I think black women have done enough putting black men on, on their backs that speaking life into them. That's not what they need. Mm. They need their asses handed to them. It's, well, they're getting it, you know, to being them. quite honest. They're getting it handed to them. They are not able, even if they wanted to. Now, don't get it twisted. They don't want to. But they're not able to get anything done in any other community except their own community. And they're refusing to do so. Nobody's going to let these derelicts, these good for nothing, slap dick ass motherfuckers come to their community and do anything that they, you know what I'm saying? Because they yeah. know what follows these niggas. What follows them is baby mama hood, domestic violence, um, touching people that don't want to be touched, i.e. children. Um, it's a whole bunch of shit that comes along with them. Their numbers are way too fucking high and nobody wants to share a space with them. And I don't blame them. I don't. I don't. The numbers are too fucking fucked up. And so. they want you to speak life and stuff into them for them to knock you off. So why would you speak something, speak life into a deadly situation that's don't that makes no sense no it makes sense to them it makes sense to them they down here calling the child enema i can't i can't deal with it <laughs> they calling the girl enema i can't keep my eyes off is this she shit. in the back dc no i don't see her back here let me um let me drop a couple people. VW, I'm going to take you from from the back so that um i can free up an area cuz i see you in the back back there Cause I, I, I really, I would love for Emily to come bless us right now. Cause this I don't shit's believe gonna for be... a second she trying to hit that link. I just don't. Me I either. don't either. There's a free spot here, honey. Let's go. It was at least three. She could have mm -hmm. been came up. Yeah, she flogging. I'm starting to think you have a dick, Emily. Come on, baby, let's go. That's a maker. <laughs> Kyra just put the, the 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 link back down there. Coffee Maker. says it's a man. I'm starting to believe that shit too. Okay. Who is this? Uh, Joe, are you Emily? Are you Dusty's person? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on a second. If you're, <laughs> if, if you're driving, you're going to have to like pull over or something because it sounds like you're going through a hall or being taken to jail currently as we speak. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I let my window up. Yeah, roll that up because if you didn't know the wind will will fuck your microphone and you're gonna sound like you just you just full of shit. Are you Emily from the chat? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Why yeah. are you? Thank you, thank you. We was getting to that. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out if you. If y'all are so divested, why don't y'all just leave us alone? Because y'all sound evil. Oh, my God. We did leave us alone. We have left y'all alone. How come the manosphere can't leave us alone? Y'all women, women sound like some Hold clan members, man. Hold for on real. a second. I, Hold on a second, Joe. Y'all, I got this. Get on down. Get down. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Give me a second, y'all. Listen, Joe. We have left. These are women that are having a conversation and they're entitled to do so. Also, I have decided to run back into the burning fire to gather more women to come with us. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, but I, I don't think it's going to be no more. Y'all got enough women in South Best. I don't think it's going to be no more than this. So why don't y'all no more? Joe, Joe, listen. You guys do not have a say so in anything that goes on in the world nowhere in mm -hmm. the world so you're definitely not going to be able to tell me when and where to try to preach divestment to women do you understand what i'm saying to you and take that later her comment he yeah. oh yeah and another thing man um this little day um, i promise you Oh, why yeah, is your so surroundings? Like, listen, why is your sur your surroundings are aggravating the shit out of me? Does your your AC system doesn't work? Roll those windows up. Are you on, are you stranded on the side of the road? Uh, no, he's no, no, on the no, 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 no. Okay, it sounds so fucking fucked up around you. It sound like you just you you hauling ass down a freeway with your windows down. 
Yeah. We heard what you said. All right. I ran the police. All right. But another thing, why well, I'm confused because you never had oh, a black man, confused. but you. But you keep talking about black man like oh, you know us. So you oh, so you listen to me. You listen to me. So how, you know I've never been with one. Oh, that's amazing. So I, my word is getting out because if it wasn't getting out, you would have never found me. Correct, Joe Schmo. I, I just I just like to know as a black man who my enemies is. You know, I'm Leave your enemy. Welcome to your enemy. I'm your enemy. Mm -hmm. and that's I mean, me. black. Anybody that's anti-black male is my enemy. Yes, as I am your enemy. You damn right. Y'all anti-black male, the way y'all killing each other, what are you it's talking about? Y'all anti-us too. Those Anybody are thugs, killing man. me every 5.5 hours is anti-me too. And I don't recall I asking already, one already, A lot of content shit, creators so. debunk that. A whole bunch of content creators debunk black women getting killed every five and a half hours by black men. Man. First of all, they don't, don't nobody even know who's killing those women. They, they don't even Joe. say who's killing those Yo. women. Joe. You do not. not hold on a job. second. Hold on a second, y'all. Joe, that's weak. That is very, very weak. You know what type of person I am because you watch me, right? Did you think that was going to fly, what you just said, motherfucker? <laughs> what, you, <laughs> what did you talk about? What's going to fly? I'm being serious. The you fact that you said that, oh my God, your surrounding sounds horrible. I am like three seconds from moving your ass up out here. Please roll up your window. All right, Please roll on, that on, motherfucker. On, that's that phone. That's that pay phone he calling from. Oh I my God. I, got, I, got, I got my own business. <laughs> I'm not got my own business. I believe you. I believe you. Okay. Yeah, because a, a lot of y'all black women, y'all date thugs, and when they mess y'all life up, y'all blame us all. Oh, hell. They so you okay, y'all. We can't all talk at the same time. Let me tell you something, Joe. I don't, um, you You still stuck in back in 2011. That's not going to work. Go get your fucking car fixed, right? You can stay in the motherfucking chat or not. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about your opinion. You are dustier than a motherfucker. You don't even have a sound, a, 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 a microphone that will stop the wind from coming through. And do you think you're going to be able to tell somebody like me what's happening? Are you fucking serious? You need to go get a job, and if you have one, you need to get a better one. But over here, that's not going to fly. You're not going to be able to give advice. You're not going to be able to sway. You're not going to be able to, to do anything. Why are you around us? I uh, thought you were Emily. Because I keep talking about us, man. I, I can talk about, talk about what the fuck I want to talk about, pussy. Okay, I can so talk I about what the fuck I, I want to talk about. If I want to come around y'all, if I that's Bitch, not true. without an invite, you won't. Not without That's an invite. I, exactly. I don't know why people try to talk at the same time. I don't know why he does that shit. I don't know why they do that shit. You know good and damn well the next thing that's coming is the Sparta flip-flop. You don't even have a good microphone, right? Your microphone sucks, and you think you can tell a, a, a thousand women what they need to be doing, right? You need to take your ass somewhere else. I'm looking for Emily. Emily, bitch, where are you at? Okay? Uh, That's all we ever say. Leave us alone. Why y'all stay talking about us all the time? That I, can't, was I promise you. I can't with the microphone, so y'all already know. This but is Sparta! It sounds like his motherfucking ass is running down a hallway from demons and shit. I can't do that. If you're going to try and talk some shit, at least make your sound crisp. This motherfucker is waiting on AAA to come put a fucking tire on his 1986 Nissan. That's what he's doing. Sitting up there waiting for a white man to come change his tire and put a gas can in his car. That, listen, Emily, I blame you, bitch. I blame you, bitch, for me having to talk to him. That man was outside and he ran into an old payphone, and that's where all that wind was coming from. He, he, <laughs> that was an Obama phone, and he had his windows down because they don't have air in their cars. <laughs> it, 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 exactly. Then he lying, talking about he on his own business. Bitch, get a better phone in if you're on your own business. You a motherfucking lie. You on your own shit. Talking about his, you got a fucking business. Nigga, you know you only slinging dime bags. Gone. His his business is stop is, is running up and wiping windows of people that didn't ask him to. That's where that wind was coming from. He was washing <laughs> windows. He, uh, see, I want to say this. 
Because I hear a lot of black men call in DZ and say, well, if y'all are divested, why are y'all still talking about black men? Even when you're divested and you don't deal with black men in your personal life, you don't deal with them in your professional life. The fact that if one of them moves in my neighborhood, my home value plummets bothers me. The fact that any crime that happens in my community, even though my community is almost 90 percent white, is still going to be them bothers me. The idea that one of them could be walking down my street bothers me. I don't worry about them because they're in my personal circle. I worry about them because I can't navigate society as a free human because of them. Exactly. And they don't get that. Even the hoes on here talking that talking all that shit about divestors don't seem to understand that. The men and don't understand to, it and the bitches don't either. I but you to, just summed it up. And I wanted to say when he said, I think y'all got enough. First of all, what he thinks is irrelevant. But second of all, as long as black women and girls are out here getting murked by them, there will never be enough women divested. Exactly. Okay, Emily, since you claim that you block, I'm going to go ahead and block you because you're full of shit. There's two people on my block list on this goddamn stream yards, and you are not one of them. Okay? One is a white powder donut dusty, and one is an actual naker. So you're full of it, unless you're that naker. If you're that naker, yeah, then you block then. Is this you, uh, Melissa? What is it? Melissa Heron, are you dusty? No. Okay, you're on. What you got? Um, I just want you to talk about the FBI and their claims about black incels, like the rise of black incels. Oh, yeah. that They have been saying that for a few years now. I have an article in the Tuck from 2015 when they first started being on the FBI's list. They've been being watched for years now. So the new ones, they just finding out that they've been being watched for years. That, that ain't new. They've been uh-huh. on that fucking hate list because guess what? When the Manosphere first started, they were saying some really violent shit. And they try to say that divestment is the the female version of that. But we don't threaten violence. They threaten violence. And that's what got their punk ass on the list. Threatening to punch black women in the face when they see them. Threatening to have them drown in their own excrement and their own blood. That type of shit. That's what they do. So we are in no way the female equivalent to the Manosphere. We have never threatened a goddamn soul with anything but a dragon. I want to know where the caller got her information. Melissa, where'd you get your information? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can just Google it. It's it's been popping up in a lot of articles lately. So, Okay. I guess it's making a resurgence because they've been on that list. It's one on Newsweek. Um, They did another one um, from NL Magazine. And they actually referenced that them them incels, the king of incels, Kitten and Heels, they actually referenced him in that mm-hmm. article because oh. he is he is basically breeding ushering in a new breed of incels they've always been here but he's really taking it to another level without mm-hmm. even realizing what he's doing that you got so many women championing him but you just don't know it's because of him he got these men running around here gassed up thinking that there's something that they're not thinking that they are entitled to certain types of women thinking that they actually have more than what they have he really have these men gassed up now and mm-hmm. that's part, that's why you see this resurgence of those incels. And I find it ironic that this was some shit that they claimed that only the white boys was doing. Yep. No, nah, they doing it too, and they doing it at higher rates. It's, they they're crazy. Black it's males amazing. being watched as a criminal entity. Oh, the horror. Yeah, I mean, he's they, out running around here. They all think that they're high value. It doesn't matter if they are a security guard or a cashier at Walmart. They all think that they're high value and they all think that they deserve all these types of different types of women. They literally think that they are the most desired and all women want them. And that's why they're not taking rejection very well now. And that's another reason why they despise divestors, because we're kind of fucking up the game for them. Because we don't want them. We're encouraging other black women not to fool with them. And they know that once black women get our shit and walk away, other women will follow. And they cannot have that. 
Yeah, speaking of trends, black women are the ones that made black men popular for the time Thank that they you. were popular. Right. I mean, you all over uh, Al Gore's internet talking about how big his dick is, how chocolatey he is, Lying. all this extra shit. Right. So, of course, when you say shit like that for an undeserving group of men, others are going to be interested. OK, and as soon as they got interested and those men put those other women above you, now you cry and file. Well, sis, you helped them do mm -hmm. that. And so, speaking to Aaliyah, they think they're high value. And I know why they think they're high value, because black women black think women, they're yeah. high value whenever they have a bullshit job. Exactly. Tell me that you don't think a fat ass nigga ass security guard that work at Walmart can't get no pussy out of black and stand. Tell me he can't. She. I blame black women. I blame black women for this. I blame black women. I don't blame Kitten Hills or all these other manosphere. I blame men. Y'all praise these motherfuckers. Y'all kings. Y'all calling them heads of household and little mine when they three. Y'all was giving these motherfuckers accolades they didn't deserve. Y'all went down there to that school and said the teacher didn't like your son when his ass was up in there, couldn't read hell. Y'all did that shit. Yeah. That's true too. That, that's true. No mother, no mother, no mother. What does it take for a mammy to call a black man bad? Y'all see them call murderers and look for good accolades and qualities in murderers. So there's literally nothing that the black male collective can do for them to forsake their image dead ass i i don't know what they would have to do i guess it has to come to your doorstep and they beat shit down your motherfucking ass right so that you'll you'll know what's happening why does it have to hit your doorstep but they can get any woman they want in the black community mm -hmm. they it sure just, can. all they got to do is throw on that cheap ass x spray from kroger right and call them <laughs> <laughs> open up that top button on that polo and say how you doing, Queen? What you what's in that buggy? And get oh. him some crochet dreads. Don't let him put some crochet dreads in his hat. Oh Girl. Then the first thing, then the first thing. Oh, he's such a good man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So he's still the EBT card. It's funny how when the swirlers, right? Whenever they decide to date out and shit, that they all of a sudden get standards, quote unquote. Take those standards that you're having for, for the white men, which you should have, and apply that to niggas. You're going to be single like a motherfucker because they will not be able to reach the, the mark. They won't. You got three fucking baby daddies. You didn't mm -hmm. have those standards. You, you ain't fooling no motherfucking body. You are not attracted to men outside of your race. Just keep it real. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with reasons why you can't. Quote they unquote. sure do. They not attracted to them, man. I had a black woman tell me, I don't see how you date white men. In order for me to date white men, I have to go all up and down his family tree to make sure he didn't come from racist. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Girl, listen, you ain't checked to see if he came from a line of dusties. So the shit you talking is full of shit. You just being extra and you just trying to stay in the struggle. And that's your right. I'm to the point where it's, that's they right. I'm only for women that's want, that want to get away from the fuck shit. That's if you right. don't, that's on you. I will not lose one wink of goddamn sleep. I'm telling you, when I get up off of here, I'm taking a shower. I'm going to get butt fucking naked and I'm going to sleep my ass off. How about that part? I'm mm -hmm. not worried that's about right. you leaving. I'm just telling you, you should leave because eh, it's on my heart to tell you to do so. But ultimately, it's up to you, motherfucker. You do what you want to do. Okay? Emily is not full back here. It's Emily's not back Emily is not coming. Emily, a motherfucking compulsive ass liar. That's what Emily is. I mean, if Emily was coming, she would have hit the link a long time ago. She's is not there maybe to... somebody you blocked in the past under a different name, DZ or something? That may uh -huh. be the case. And that person's name is not Emily, then it's only two people. Two. Keisha. Emily is Keisha. Yeah, that, that has to be her then. That has to be her. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that motherfucking bitch, but. Anyway, Melissa, I appreciate you coming up here telling us, you know, what's the tea and what's happening in the YouTube streets now with them. You're welcome. Finding out that they're on the, the list. OK, but yeah, the motherfucker's been on the list for a minute. And when the white manosphere started, they were not this shit. They were not the black manosphere. Those were actually a men's rights group. The black manosphere was a black woman hate group. That's completely different. 
And those men in the um white manosphere, they didn't name race. They just said women this, women yeah, that. they women, just say women. women. They don't right. say race. Yes, Period. and they, had, they actually had legitimate beef with the women. And they didn't even generalize all of their women. So yeah. they had legitimate beef. That's the the black manosphere had no real beef with black women. That's why they started concocting all that dumb shit. Oh, y'all not submissive. Y'all wigs, y'all weave, y'all lashes, y'all, all just a whole bunch of dumb shit. Y'all wearing makeup and all this shit. They had no real beef with us for real. They needed something to bitch about to try to make it seem like they had some serious issues with black women. No, you didn't have any serious issues. That's why you made up that dumb shit and try to pretend like that was what your issue was with us. No, the issue was is that we were not white and that's what you wanted. Yeah, and they were jealous because we were surpassing them because they have low IQ and the fact that we came up under the same upbringing and that we were surpassing them, that made them feel some type of way. So they exactly. they're, they're just jealous and they're competing with black women on a daily basis. But see, that, the, the women, the mammies don't want to discuss that, though. They don't want to talk about that part of how the black manosphere came to be. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh That's shit! Emily, Emily says they're here. here. Okay, wonderful. Yes, yes. And before my two-hour mark, Emily, teach us how to breathe life into a motherfucker. You're on stage when you're live. Yeah, I'm. I'm the mammy you're looking for. Okay, that's wonderful. Make sure okay. your background noise is not on no. so that we can hear everything you got to say. Can you teach us how to breathe life into a dead body and go? <laughs> Stroke their ego. Stroke their ego. Go ahead and speak. Yeah, I'm telling you, stroke their ego. Okay, that's your no. job, bitch, not Why? mine. Why? No, it's it's your job because you're a black woman. No, that's your that's job. Our job. Hold on, that's hold on a second, job. Aaliyah. Emily, can you turn that corny ass music you got playing in the background I'm on? you. Can't just cut, cut the music off. DZ, the rest of us will go I on mute and you can that. have that. Go ahead and turn that music off. And oh, you can't control the music. That's oh, so y'all y'all having issues over there. She's in with a dusty. Oh, okay. So is there? Hold on a second. If you able to get away from the dusty for a second, so that we don't have to hear your your noise in the back, that would be wonderful. Because I'm glad you're up here. I'm very thankful that you're up here. Because we supposed to be getting a lesson tonight on how to speak life into a, a dead body, and you put yourself on mute. I didn't put myself on mute. Yourself on mute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. What do you want to learn? Because I, feel, I already I told see, you. I, I said, teach I us how to. Back and on, back and Emily, on Emily, I was telling you, and I've already told you several times. Teach us how to speak life into a dusty. Stroke their ego, make them feel like a man. Okay, how do we They'll do that? Act like a man. How do we do that? Follow their direction. Be submissive. Okay. Like it's not that hard. Okay, if it's not that hard, why is black men beating the fuck out of y'all every goddamn day? Well, y'all are doing a shit job of it. That's not me. Y'all choose wrong. It's your fault. This Emily, do you my, have a black male my, husband my, who my. is your head of household and your highest higher wage earner in your house? It's weak. It's my weak. It's the, it's the same. You shit have a that, boyfriend. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> don't don't ask her nothing else. Listen, this is the same shit y'all say all the time. This is weak. I thought you had a little smoke, but you don't. You just got more of the same talking about be submissive and we're choosing wrong. That that shit is weak as fuck. It's weak. Do you have anything else other than that? Because that's real fucking cool. I got smoke. I got smoke, bitch. Oh, give oh, me some smoke. Here. She made it. Oh, yeah, yeah, she hot. <laughs> give, give, you give made me just, it give, somebody else in their space. Child, I'm going to let y'all talk to her because, honey, listen. Give well, me the I smoke. You said friend. you had smoke for me, <laughs> bitch. Then give me the fucking smoke with your star crunch pussy ass, with your broke ass, with your seventy-seven percent out of wedlock birth ass, with your five-dollar you ass, with y'all wanting some goddamn dick and can't get none and sharing ass, with your ball head <laughs> ugly ass baby ass, Medicaid having ass, EBT spending ass, spending my tax dollars on your goddamn food ass. 
Give me the smoke, bro. Let's get give me the smoke, she, bitch. That ain't smoke. I don't know what that is. I don't. That's I don't smoke. know. I got smoke, bitch. I got smoke, bitch. I got that's smoke, bitch. Be submissive. I got smoke, bitch. You corny as fuck. Go somewhere and suck a dog dick, you raggedy ass mammy. Bye, whore. This is Sparta! If y'all gonna come up here, listen, you got to come with something better than that. Y'all got to come with something better than that. Be submissive. You're choosing wrong. You sound like a dying cat. Y'all are so <laughs> weak. You sound like a dying okay, fucking yeah. Be submissive. She can't <laughs> even control the music in her fucking house. That's how weak these hoes are. That's how yeah, weak that they are. That, that was Kasia, DZ. I think yeah, that, I was that was Kasia. That's what I was about to say. That was Kasia, yeah. Okay, well, I guess everybody's fucking Kasia. Whatever. The motherfucking bitch is weak. I guess all these whole. That, I listen. definitely don't think that was Keisha. I think I that don't was either. Just, uh, I, I think, think that Keisha was just a mammy. I think Keisha got a lot of people paranoid and everybody calling her K everybody Keisha. Okay, mm -hmm. I, will, I, will note, I will note that she never really answered the question. She doesn't and have an know. answer. Exactly, yeah, you, know, so, you can't answer that shit because it don't make sense what she's saying. It's plenty of uh mammies that do that shit that she's saying, and nothing still ain't changing in the black community. So what are you saying? saying? That, she sounds fucking retarded, is what that, she sounds. Exactly. That's why I said they just be saying shit. Well, it don't even have to make sense. Speak life into them. And then when you ask them exactly what is that shit supposed to be, what does it entail? They can't even explain it. Like that's why I say it's just girl bye. Because she didn't have an answer, it was I got smoked, bitch. I guess bitch was supposed to be triggering. Listen, we can bitch, bitch, bitch all day. You can call me a bag of bitches. You didn't come up here and get your lesson taught, you fucking idiot. We still don't know how to speak life into a dusty. I'm I thought you had a lesson plan up here with your raggedy ass. Don't even have control of your motherfucking music surroundings trying to tell somebody how to be submissive. Bitch, be submissive and go put that shit that down. Is. I don't think that they know what the fuck that means. That's just something that they say. They don't know what it is. They just tell you to speak life into them. And then when you say, okay, well, what the hell is speak life? They don't even have an answer for that. That's just something that they're saying. That motherfucking dizzy bitch says, stroke their ego and let them be a man. Okay. And once again, you blame the women. Let. I got to let. I got a problem with that let word. I got to let him. Nigga, you... You born with a set of balls and I got to let you be a man? <laughs> and then she's still being intellectually yeah, dishonest because motherfuckers been stroking these motherfucking egos for fucking centuries and ain't shit happening. I don't understand so how, these know women, what? how your pussy still getting wet for me and you got to let be men. If I got to let you, I, girl, I don't see, I don't see how they pussy still getting wet for these uh, girl. Because I'm, I'm submissive and know my place. That's your lesson. I mean, it was Look like talking to a goddamn child. Oh, just be submissive. A key, 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 and throwing herself on mute. Her motherfucking ass. I almost called her that. She's slow. Okay. If she would have asked him to cut that music down, she'd have been another story of her damn self. He'd have knocked the chicklets out her goddamn there. mouth. <laughs> you have knocked her out of her goddamn mouth. Can, can we get a better mammy than that? Thank you, Kyra, for putting the um link in the chat because I thought we was gonna get a little something. She came up here, sitting up here with her uh nipple clenches on, talking about be submissive. Come on now, y'all can do better than that. Y'all fight for these niggas all the goddamn time, mm -hmm. all the time. Oops, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go. I was about to say, they're never, when they come up here trying to spew a praising uh, black male shit, they never are unique or original. They all literally say the same shit. Just like you hear black men, all of them, when they talk, they all be saying the same, repeating the same talking points. The mammies all doing the same thing, too. That Nobody ever comes up and has a unique or original piece of advice. They never do. I'm trying to figure out, y'all, there were paragraphs on top of paragraphs in the chat room, and then she came up here talking about, be submissive. <laughs> uh, uh, I got smoke, bitch. 
Girl, that was weak. I want me a real mammy. I'm talking about one of them ones that got the fists in the air. That got a dozen yoni eggs. She ready to scramble behind her ass. I'm talking about she got an egg tattoo on her motherfucking titty. I'm talking about she used Shea Brother every morning. And she also used the shit for toothbrush. I'm trying to get that kind of mammy. Not a trolling mammy. I'm talking about a mammy that believes that she needs to get up here and try to baptize us. So we can go ahead and christen her. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm tired of you Keisha style, mammy. Y'all shit is corny as fuck. And this is my thing. They come to, they'll, they'll sit up here and come to spaces like this and wreak all this damn havoc. But then when they're a victim of some shit, they come here looking for protection. They come here looking to be uplifted. They come here wanting us to be on their side when they're actual victims and shit. But these bitches got all the smoke for us all every other week, every week. All the damn time, but then you want us to protect you when Ty Roach is knocking you upside your head. I thought I was going to hear something about genocide and that we were self-haters and who's going to have the black babies. And I thought I was going to hear about slavery and something that was pseudo intellectual. <laughs> This bitch came up here playing jungle beats behind her that she couldn't even control. Talking about be submissive and speak life into somebody. Girl, bye. Go DZ, those are the neo mammy. See what you want. You want them Angela Davis. Um, uh, you, you know, <laughs> I know why the cage thing, mammy. See, you want one of them. I am what it is. I am ain't I a woman too, senor, and a truth ass mammy. See, you want the faint and Lou Hamer mammy. That's what you want. Yes, I am tired of the um, I went Instagram live ass mammy. I'm tired of that shit. Bring bring on the real shit and believe what you say when you say it. Because ultimately, you're spending your Friday night with me, motherfucker. So go ahead and do what you do. I miss those mammoths, DZ. What they age? Mean, child, at least they, they stood 10 toes down on their shit. These motherfucking uh -huh. new neo-mammies be on some weirdo shit. Be sitting up there gargling motherfucking jizz in the back of their throat talking about be submissive. <laughs> no, nah, baby, we not doing All that. All in if you wearing a dashiki. Call in. <laughs> if you sitting around the house in a dashiki and her head wrap and, and lighting incense, call in. We want to hear from you. All right. Burning sage and uh shuffling tarot cards around this bitch. Yeah, the Erica Badu. That's this this come on, bring your ass up. <laughs> right. Okay, welcome to the panel, hunty. Hey, I missed y'all. <laughs> welcome Ooh. to the panel. You got us now. What you got, baby girl? Ooh, these mammies be wild. Yeah, I posted I, I, I can't. Go ahead. I posted a pic in the Discord, but like they're already celebrating that Juicy got out and they're like, oh, I hope he's twerking and getting steak and lobster. And why would you want somebody to go to jail? And it shouldn't be a shame to go to jail, to not want to go to jail. And I'm like, don't do the crime then. Like you lied. I was but that's the problem. Our, our little trolling mammy to at least say that. Say that. Don't be coming up here putting yourself on mute talking about be submissive. Girl, you trolling. And you want to know what the sick thing is? If he was a white guy that they let out like that, they would be complaining now about white privilege and how they only get slaps on the wrist. Mm -hmm. But since it's him, they're going to make an exception and act like pretend like that this is okay. But that's what we do in this community. Um. The Sigma Fatale, uh, Jussie got out after six days. Juicy, yes, you heard that correct. He didn't, he's waiting on appeal, and I smell probation coming up. If you want to keep it 100, I don't, I don't think smell it. I, I think he's gonna get locked up again. They probably gonna add more on to the sentence. Fuck it, give him a year this time. That would be nice if they did, but they've been juggling this motherfucker's nuts in the back of his they throat for the entire time. So if he get any more time, I'd be very, very surprised because they have been coddling the fuck out of him. Mm -mm, they, they have he gonna get this home. I, but I again, the article. I like the fact that Jesse, he brought oh. up the Trump family. Like I get offended. Like I'm a I'm a pro Trump supporter, so I'm like. I just got offended when he did that. You know what I mean? Like, don't put us in that shit. You know what I mean? I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. Somebody really does need to be this fucking headed. If he wants to make up lies like that, like somebody actually needs to do it. Because that's how, how do you make up a lie like that on a, on, on right wingers? Like yeah. that. That's he just intentionally it. made it political. That's why he put through that in there. They wasn't just white. They had mm -hmm. to be 
my MAGA supporters too. So that's the reason why it's like, again, that's why I say, why aren't we hearing all this talk? Because if he was a white guy, they would be on the internet. Now, everybody in a uproar talking about white privilege, but mm-hmm. because of him, every, you, everybody, oh, I guess this is a victory. This is a win. Oh you see, I like, you know, realize they're the most protected class, to be honest. If you look at how everything is playing out, like they're actually the protected ones. We're the ones actually, that are taking up a lot of shit. So I don't know. I just, I get so upset about that. I read the article in explaining why he got released. It was like a two to one vote um, amongst the appeal judges and they refused to specify why they wanted to release him. However, his lawyer has been talking crap about he's so scared. Because this is a midterm election year and they know the mammies were upset and they know who their voter base is. I mean, we have to understand everything goes back to politics. We're in the mid we're in the midterm election season. Judge mm-hmm. is going to be doing some strange shit. Mm. Oh, my gosh. As summer approaches, ladies, I want y'all to keep it safe. Do what you do. Y'all already know that, especially in areas like uh, in states, rather, like New York, um, Georgia, California, the crime goes all the way up. There's going to be too many stories to cover. I won't be able to get to them. That's why shout out to other divested spaces that will cover these stories. But what I don't want to happen is the story to be you. Mammies, you guys are weak. I'm actually bored with your clapback. I'm bored with some of these other BWE clapbacks as well, if you want to keep it all the way funky. If you're having mental health issues out here, go get checked out. Don't try and blame your mental health issues on folks that you have never met on the internet. Get some professional help, right? Go ahead and make sure you put yourself first. Nobody's feelings matter when it comes to keeping your safety all the way together because nobody knows what your personal life is like. If you're sitting in Detroit, some motherfucking where, and you can't get away from Dusty's, your divestment is going to be more of a mental state. It's going to be of a way, a way that you move and where you go and what time you go and having your head on a swivel. If you're in a space where you don't come across Dusty's congratulations to you, your divestment will be a lot easier. But make sure that you check on your mental health because there's some folks out here saying, you know, they, they're having mental health breakdowns because of other content creators. I, I don't know, but that, that's weird. If you ever feel like you're in a, in a situation where you need to have a talking to with someone that's a mental health professional, do that. And after you do that and get the clear, go ahead and take your ass to the shooting range so you'll be ready for this mm-hmm. hot summer that's coming up. Learn your weapon. Make sure you know where in the, when the safety is on and off. Do target practice. Get some cameras for your doorbell. Get some cameras for your back door, your windows. You are all that matters. Mammies don't matter because they're dangerous. Dusties don't matter. They're dangerous to you. You are the one that matters. You cannot put yourself in harm's way for their children either. We've been seeing this past week, some of their children are demons as well. We watching kids kick old women down on the floor talking about all it takes is one kick. It doesn't matter who it is, young, old, big or small. If they are not going to serve your mental health or keep you in a safe space, they do not deserve access to you point blank, period. I don't care who they are, whether they're related to you or not. I am so bored with the Mammy's clapbacks. It's corny. It's weird. It's untruthful. It's damn near cringy, considering the fact that you're the victim as well. The fact that you look like the victims that you're trying to downplay, that shit is cringe. It's cringe as fuck, and it's it's self-effacing, and I don't understand it. But I do know that I'm bored with it. I don't want to hear anything else about submitting to a, a group of men that have not built you anything. I don't want to hear about not all because I don't give a fuck. I don't. I'm not putting my safety on the line because you think everybody deserves a chance. Fuck you and that chance. Ladies, I'm very, very serious right now. There's a whole lot of key jingling going on. And that's what me and my husband call it in this house. It's key jingling is 
what you do with babies when you want to distract them from something that's going on. A lot of time in doctor's offices, they'll jiggle a set of keys over away from where their little booster shot is going so that they'll be focused on something else rather than what you're doing to them. It's a lot of key jingling happening in the black community. Hey, look at this thing here. No, nobody's being murdered. No, I don't know where they get those stats from. No, prove it. Who's actually doing it? That's key jingling. Be safe out here, ladies. I, myself, am headed to this Discord. And if you need me, hit me at divestazella at gmail.com. Join my Patreon. And I love y'all to pieces. Good night. I the fuck Good out night. of here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, ladies. Bye. Thank you.